it was announced the other day that um, editorial workers at MSNBC and The Choice, which is the MSNBC, um, I, I don't know what the, the structure is necessarily, but it's the MSNBC network on the Peacock app. Right. And it's not uh, actually MSNBC. It's The Choice. And we, this show, is a license to The cho- Choice, The Majority Report. And then we have a second show, um, which uh, we call uh, Reported, because we interview uh, reporters, primarily, uh, Emma and I do, uh, which is a second show that plays on there. And we also license that show to uh, The Choice. Um, and so we're, they don't actually produce our shows. I, d- I honestly don't know. We also, uh, and I, I think it's probably hard for people to, um, to believe this, but we don't script our programs. We do not. I know that must be shocking to people. Um, I didn't. I wasn't just adding the stuttering as a way of making seem like the uh, the words were my own. That yeah, that's just me trying to hit a page uh, count that Sam makes me hit. So I just put a lot of ums and ahs in there. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> exactly. There's a character threshold. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I was going to say those margins are pretty big, uh, Matt. Anyways. Um, so, uh, but I just wanted to do that for full disclosure because, um, you know, obviously this is a story in the news. There have been uh, other newsrooms uh, that have unionized under the Writers Guild of America East. There are two separate entities, the Writers Guild of America West and the Writers Guild of uh, America East. And uh, ABC News, Bustle, CBS News, Fast Company, Huff Post, The Intercept, Salon, Slate, Vice, Vox, Condé Nast this week. Oh, Condé Nast this week, right? Uh, yeah. Did they do uh, after did, a two-year fight? I mean, they went and was that the New Yorker magazine as well? Uh, yes. Okay. They went outside. You know, uh, what's her name? Anna Wintour's home. All that kind of stuff it was a long fight for them. Uh, Gizmodo, uh, Gizmodo Media Group and Hearst magazines. So this is uh, uh, you know happening <clears throat> and. Um, And so uh, it is uh, in the news, and it was uh, our responsibility to let you know that we have a relationship, even though, you know, arguably at arm's length. I don't know how this will impact us. You know, at one point we'll get a guest on uh, to, to, to talk about that. I can tell you that my personal opinion is that I am uh, completely in favor of, of unionization. Um, MSNBC put out a, a statement the uh, president of MSNBC um, put out a statement to the New York Times, put out by Rashida Jones. She's the president of MSNBC. Um, she wrote, uh, uh, we're looking forward to continuing the type of direct, open, and honest communication that has already resulted in meaningful change at the network. Here is the statement. Um, and... She says, uh, I respect our employees' right to decide whether they want to be represented by a union, and I believe our employees should be able to make such an important decision through a standard election process. Now, I don't know what the standard uh, part of this means. It's an election process. There are two different ways that a union, uh, that a shop can get unionized. Um, one is where you have uh, um, the, the people who work there uh, articulate that they want to have a union there was a lot of names on that list yeah and and i i'll be totally honest i don't have a sense of of how many of that editorial staff what percentage they represent of the editorial staff of msnbc and uh the choice but just my guess because we don't we don't have any staff like they have like and and we obviously we don't even go to the same building um but i can tell you that it appears to me from that list of people who have put their names on a document that was sent out that it's clearly the majority Mm -hmm. i I don't know what 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 percentage but but it it appears to me now i may be wrong about this uh and uh we'll dig into it uh, a little bit more, and uh, and certainly if I'm wrong about that, I will uh, announce a, a correction. Um, and so there's two ways that a, un- a shop gets unionized in this way. One is those people say, we want a union, and they go uh, to management and say, we want a union, and the management says, okay, we're okay with that. Or they say, well, we're going to petition the National Labor Relations Board to have an election. Now, 
Um, I can tell you just from reporting on this dynamic for years, very often what management does is try and take that time. This is why people want a card check. Because card check is, they just come in and say like, yeah, I'll sign a card. And that's it. And then it also protects the <clears throat> anonymity. Well, the majority of people, but who's the anonymity to for? Like, I mean, I guess, <clears throat> I guess those organizing would have an idea, but a card check is just, I'm going to sign off. Yeah. I'd like to have a union. And if uh, more than 50% of them do, then boom, then there's a union. There's no uh, long waiting period and then a secret election later yeah. so that uh, management very often uses that time to uh, entice, cajole, intimidate. Um, we just saw this with Amazon. We saw this with Amazon. And Ben Bessemer. So um, uh, in you know, my estimation, when your workers come to you and say, we want a union, your response should be, okay. And, you know, you tell me who I talk to. And uh, and but uh, so that's what's happening. And as this story develops, we will let you know. We have obviously a, um, you know, responsibility to uh, to let the audience know that, you know, we have some uh, affiliation, obviously, with uh, Peacock. I mean, I think most people know that uh, with the the choice app. I mean, the Peacock app, the choice channel. I think right. most people know it, but I want to make sure that everybody does.